Welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Dr. Lucy of the Eye Clinic channel. In this channel, we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get some help. We also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to sort out some minor eye difficulties if you need to. So be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know when we do upload our videos and we do this every week. For a couple of weeks, we will be discussing how diabetes affects eyesight and the other body organs. Today, we are going to discuss some of the signs that may indicate that a diabetic patient could be at an advanced stage of the disease. Diabetes is due to a sustained high blood sugar and the main damage occurs at vessel level and this is the main cause of all the complications. The diabetes affects several organs including the eyes, the kidney, the brain, the nerves and the heart. So to begin with the eyes vision that is decreasing in a diabetic and is not improving with correction either with glasses or even with surgery could be due to vessel damage. Vessel damage will cause bleeding, will cause swelling and then scar formation at the back of the eye which is called the retina. So when the scar shrinks it pulls the rest of the retina and then detaches it from its base and this is what we call retinal detachment and this is by far the most common cause of blindness in diabetics. The second tissue affected is the nerves. A patient may know whether the nerves are affected if there are areas of numbness and loss of feeling particularly on the feet. As such, any injury on such areas may go unnoticed and diabetics may have wounds that do not seem to heal. This can also happen on the face and a diabetic may present with an asymmetric face with inability to close the eye, especially on the affected side. So the brain is another vulnerable tissue and stroke is not uncommon in diabetics. So stroke occurs due to either bleeding due to high blood pressure, which is a common complication of diabetes, or due to inability to supply some parts of the brain with oxygen due again to vessel damage. Vascular damage is the main driver of all organ damage in diabetics. Once it starts, it can involve all organs at the same time or within a duration of time. If there is damage to the kidney, you will notice this by increasing the amount of urine and also swelling of the face and the feet. In fact, if you wake up with a swollen face or feet, you need to check up with your doctor to rule out kidney disease. Finally, the heart muscle relies so much on the blood to get its own oxygen for its own metabolism and also to be able to pump blood to the rest of the body. If it were unable to do this, the rest of the body will suffer and will begin swelling starting from the feet and then the rest of the body. This is the first sign that the heart muscle may not be working properly. To prevent these complications, we cannot emphasize more on good sugar control through diet and medications. We shall be discussing diet in one of these videos, so stay tuned. Secondly, annual and frequent checkups are mandatory to nip in the bud the complications before they get out of hand. Your doctor will advise you what changes to make in terms of treatments or diets to make sure that you get the body to optimal health. Supplements like omega-3 and vitamin B complex are very ideal and will help to eliminate the toxic radicals to prevent further damage. And this concludes our discussion today on how diabetes affects the eyesight and other body organs and how to manage this. Be sure to watch the rest of the series to get a complete picture. To get updates of our latest videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Until next week, goodbye.